Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Hello everyone I know the life has become a little complicated We are all having a tough time together Inshallah the time and our action will be better So today I'm going to introduce a new topic in semantics which is semantic feature It can also be called semantic component or semantic property it has also a relation with componential analysis which can later be discussed in another video now I am going to uphold the nature of semantic feature and how it works according to Longman dictionary of language teaching and applied linguistics a semantic feature is the basic unit of a meaning in a word. The meaning of a word may be realized by the combination of semantic features. But the limitation is that it can be difficult to bring forth the perfect features of meaning. Besides, George Eel asserted that the features help us to differentiate the meanings of each word from every other word in a language. Let's have a look and observe how the notion movement as a feature or component is shared by different words. Semantic features are also set by contrast and can be acknowledged by plus and minus signs. See the examples. The items in furniture share some common features. From this feature analysis, you can also track the unique components belonging to specific words. Check the other illustrations. The grid is used to help the learners explore how sets of things are related or uncorrelated to one another and master important concepts. It enhances comprehension and vocabulary skills as well. So that's all for now everybody. Easy as that. Hope to see you soon inshallah. Mm -hmm.